How's it going, everybody? If you are uh, rebuilding your top end on your motocross bike, uh, one step in the service manual is to check for cylinder head warpage, which mainly means, you know, on the under underside of it here, this surface here needs to be perfectly flat within 0.03 millimeters. So you probably need to, I mean, you need an extremely flat surface to test this on. So you probably need to go up into the kitchen on your marble countertop or granite countertop or something you know, extremely flat. Because most people's garage floors, I mean, they, they might be really flat, but they're not flat enough. So, you know, go up in the kitchen. Take your cylinder head up there, and um, the amount of warpage allowed is 0.03 millimeters. So you need to find your feeler gauge that has that. You know, it's, re it's really small. And, you know, you put your... Put the head on the surface and see if you can slide that smallest amount anywhere under there. Or if you feel it kind of wobbly. You know, if it's wobbly and then you turn it and it's still wobbly, that probably means uh, you, know, you got a little bit of warpage in the head here. So what you do... Get you some, um, you know, between 400 and 600 grit sandpaper. Uh, and you're going to wet sand it, basically. So you can put a little water on it. Put a little water on the sandpaper. And I'm, I'm not going to do it because I've already done this one, but... Put a little water on it. You know, hold it down or you can tape it down also, however you want to do it. And then you'll take the head and move it in a figure eight direction. Then reposition it. Move it a little bit more and do that, you know, for a few moments. Then go clean it off really well. And you'll notice that it looks really sharp. Like the edges, the edges are extremely sharp edged. And that's a good thing. Because uh, when you go to put this back on the cylinder, you know, with the gasket and everything, it's going to be a nice tight fit. And uh, that's something that a lot of people overlook is cylinder head warpage. Anyway, we've just done that and we got the we got everything back in place here. Got everything back in place now. Got the uh, cylinder put back on. The new piston, got the O-rings installed here, uh, power valve back together. We've even done a new, a, uh, a new flywheel. We're doing all ele new electronics because this bike is getting on up there in age and I have learned over the years that electronics start to fail once you get to 12, 13, 15, 20 years old, electronics start to flake out. So I'd rather not wait to find out when that's going to happen. So we're doing basically all electronic, new electronics on the bike. But she's looking good. Really good. Uh, got even a new custom hardware kit. Check out these faceters. Man, they look good. And uh, new covers from Boysen. And uh, this baby is going to be sweet. So, uh, so yeah, we're about to put the, the head back on. And um, really excited and happy with how it's coming out. Gonna be bad to the bone. Can't wait. This is actually a 270, somewhere around there, 270 cc's. 
and um, really good runner. But it was just due for a full bottom end rebuild, and we found some damage. You know, a, a transmission bearing was failing. That's how this all began. We found a lot of uh, little shards of metal attached to our magnetic drain plug, which I highly recommend. If you don't have one, get one because it gave us advance notice that something was going wrong and nothing bad happened. You know, the motor didn't lock up or any seizing or anything like that. We didn't even damage the cylinder because of a magnetic drain plug. So get you one of those if you don't have one. And um, anywho, that's it. Check out our previous videos. We got all kinds of stuff relating to this build and uh, some things that might help you, you know, if you're working on your own bike. And um, we've got all kinds of other cool videos, you know, racing related, uh, car related, chainsaw related, you know, how to's, product reviews, product reveals, all kinds of cool stuff. So check out our channel and you'll probably like some things on there, hopefully. And look, uh, look up Horsepower House on eBay as well. We've had a eBay store since 2003. And still rocking and rolling. So uh, check that out. There's links in the comments on how to get to all that. And uh, got some cool stuff that y'all might like. And that's it for now. Biker Dave in the shop on a Friday night. Having fun working on the bike. Y'all have a good evening. We'll see you.